Hi. We're here. Hi. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Meredith. How are you doing? Hi. Great. Great. And yourself? Very good. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be speaking with both of you. Oh, it's a pleasure. We're loving interview day because we get to see each other again. So it's a real pleasure for us as well. Be ready for the love fest that's about to ensue, my friend. <laughs> yeah, cut in with those questions because we'll just start talking and we miss each other. So don't be afraid to just charge ahead. I, from my understanding, your first meeting was just like that. That for the series, if the chemistry is lacking, it's not going to work. But you had such a, a, an important sit down face to face meeting, they actually had to pull you apart from each other. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think it's like what wasn't said. Adrian and I met. There was a cup we were supposed to meet with the producers. I snuck away. We had some coffee downstairs. And then they had to like, I think they came down twice, Adrian. They came down twice. We were, we, it was definitely kindred spirits. I mean, we we got deep real, real fast, real quick. I mean, I was, think I was literally like pulling apart my 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 uh shirt to show you the scar on my chest that I had just gotten. I mean it was we were we were in deep from the very beginning and even to the point when we started actually working on the uh material together, they had to then come quiet us down because we were yeah. too loud and we were having too much fun um in the room. So yeah, it's it was it was that instantaneously for sure. Adrian, you've talked about how um religion seems to follow you everywhere that you've been playing an angel in um, the play about the um, the Rosenbergs and how- Yes, Ethel Sings, yes, Ethel Rosenberg, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like maybe coming to the show in any way was almost like a higher power was calling you? Oh, wow, Charles, we're getting deep and fast. Good. Yes, with the question. Um, that one has not been given, you know, Yes, in a way it has because I was, um, I've always been a fan of detective shows. Um, and, and I mean everything from, from Forensic Files to First 48 to Dateline to, you know, um, I mean, you name it. Uh, I was, I consumed it and I always, I think, enjoyed the mystery, the solving, the puzzle. Um, the unfolding. And then I always love to make uh, things that are relevant. And I mean, how timely is it that we are doing a cop show where, you know, not only uh, the, the uh, blue lives are um, being, uh, the ethics are seriously being called into question, um, but we're also trying to create humanity and to humanize and to sort of restore the relationship between um, our community and, um, and, and the police force. And so to have all of that mixed up in a pandemic and in, 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 in the midst of, of all the uh, uh, civil and social unrest that was going on in our nation, um, I, I wanted to talk about it. And this show came and being, a, being an African-American, being a woman, uh, being a part of a minority community, um, you know, was able to explore all these different um, things. And so, yeah, it was like it was, you know, manifested in, in, a, in a great way, for sure. And we had actually just seen you in Modern Persuasion as well, too, and talked to Alicia Witt about that, who had such kind things to say about you. Oh, I literally was talking to Alicia Witt like three days ago. That is my homie from another mother. You didn't get any scenes together on Orange is the New Black, but then you got to work in this movie as well, which was mm -hmm. great. Well, we worked on the movie before she came to Orange, so that's we had already solidified uh, our friendship before she uh, came on the show. She's a remarkable, remarkable woman. Mm. Into this show as well, um, you get to work with Tony Napa, who is really um, an interesting person. Has been on um, <laughs> you've been on Baroness as well too a few times. Um, what do you enjoy about that relationship? You know, Tony Napo is, his energy is as big as his talent. Um, and it was a pleasure to work with him. Uh, you know, Meredith and I come from the theater. And so we love it when we can work with people who are comfortable with exploring and improving and, you know, going um, as serious as something can be to as funny as it can be. And he was all that 
all of that and more. Uh, and and like I said, his personality is 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 as big as his talent. So it was it was great to work with Tony and you know to create the storyline of you know is he a bad cop question mark you know and the ethics of our police force. So he really carried that um, storyline very well. Now, uh, Adrian, you have, you had talked about how, I mean, and I'd read that some of the plot lines changed a little bit. Some of the scripts, they deepen because of what's been happening. How much do you think that the real world sort of informs the series and what's happening on? Uh, a lot. I mean, it was our baseline, you know? It, I mean, yes, you have these uh, uh, sort of the um, outline of two seasoned female cops um, but it's how they interact with the world and how the world interacts around them. And for that, we had to look at the world literally around Adrian and around Meredith and, and our, and our uh, in individual experiences, our collective experiences, um, you know, at her as a Canadian, me as, a, as, as an American, as a Black woman, as, you know, um, as, a, as a white woman. So, and, and we always had conversations about about that and 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 how um, it interfaced with with certain topics that we discuss that we talk about in the show about white privilege about um, you know law and order versus uh, serving and protecting and so all these different uh, bl Black Lives Matter and defunding the police all these different things and so we were always in constant communication about it and and Meredith and I um, and I always go back to our first day meeting because I think that transparency. Um, as people allowed us to be transparent as artists and really be honest about what we wanted to talk about. And, and it was always an open and supportive conversation with Tassie and Sherry. Um, we always felt heard um, and, and we always felt comfortable to say what, you know, we felt um, and, and, and see how it affected, you know, change or or if it didn't and you know so it was a, it was a very collaborative process from the very beginning i watched your message on new year's which was great because you have that exchange going do you do that in character do you feel like your characters need to sort of be uh, um, at odds with each other a little bit separate does the real world chemistry kind of blend in a little bit i think all of that all of what you said happens meaning it was on the page the relationship tassie and sherry wrote these two very different uh, types of detectives and women that are top of their game with a different skill set of how they approach. So I think that difference creates a lot of comedy, it creates a lot of drama, it creates a lot of friction. And then of course, Adrian and I bring our own, you know, stuff to it, our own electricity. And then we had our mutual chemistry, which is all blended in. And that, I think you're talking about the New Year's promo that we shot? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I feel, our chemistry, I have so much fun. I love this woman. It's the easiest thing in the world for someone to say, you know, normally it's an actor's panic to say, oh, can you guys just do something? She's <laughs> in the world. I mean, I think it was scripted a bit, I feel like, but it's-, it's they, like, It was four lines, it was literally, it was like a literal sketch kind of situation where it was four lines and then the end said, and just, Adrian and Meredith can improv the end. <laughs> we were like- they were like, okay. So I think our chemistry it was so, you know, and the way we work sort of meshes together. So I think that New Year's promo is actually a really good example because in my mind, we had like a hot 10 seconds to do it. And we were just hot like- yeah, 10 sure. seconds after a long day of working already. Oh yeah, like I think we'd already been in for like 10 hours by that point. But at the same time, when I saw it, I was like- What? I we're doing it. It's so funny. I almost didn't when I saw it. I was like, "Oh, I don't even remember doing that." Um, but I, but it, but that's it's so it's so funny and it's so true to who we are as people and who I think our our characters are. Because as you as Mary said, we had been working already ten hours that day, and they had kind of like snuck that little promo in, and and our minds had already been inundated with like dialogue from our characters. So the fact that we had to like say some more things, and then on top of that, they were like. And then you can improv the rest, which we normally, anytime you tell us the improv, we'd be like, oh, oh, stand back, stand back. But this is a moment where I was like, y'all can't just tell us what to say. <laughs> but I was like, yep, remember that? I like jumped in. I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump into this shot. <laughs> I'm jump into so, this so it was, but it was, so at that point, I mean, you literally, I think got a taste of 
who these characters were and how they interact and how, you know, Sam's character is very um, bubbly and, you know, just a, a bit, a ball of light. And Kelly just can't be bothered sometimes. <laughs> She just can't be bothered. <laughs> I feel like I'm a golden retriever puppy. Really, that's <laughs> absolutely. So you're uh, very good about recommending shows. I know everybody is going to be watching Pretty Hard Cases and a lot of your other projects. What have you been watching? What have been some of your porn streams? Oh, we have been, Meredith and I, just <laughs> the few minutes, you know, I think that we had to kind of break away. I think, uh, you know, being able to watch a, sh a different show kind of, was that um, a psychological break from working on Pretty Hard Cases? Because we were literally wrapped in it every minute, every hour, you know, uh, of the day. Um, but I, you know, a few times, like I got into um, The Mandalorian. I got into, what else did you get into, Meredith? Yeah, like you, when I wasn't learning um, kajillions of lines, I did The Crown, the last season of The Crown. Did the, the crown Queen, queen's gambit adrian got mm -hmm. me my daughter is mandalorian mm -hmm. um, i also have an, a, a 10 year old so i'll watch like a lot of bob's burgers <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like adrian said i mean we were in all day every day and every scene so there was a lot and then when i came home i don't know i haven't really podcasting a lot what about have you been watching stuff since you got back to new york well you know i'm a true reality tv girl yeah, which one? So, <laughs> I'm a Real Housewives. Oh, nice. <laughs> which you one? name the end? I oh, I mean which Atlanta, one? Orange County, New York, Beverly Hills. Uh, right now, it's Atlanta, Orange County, and Potomac. Potomac just ended. Nice. Uh, so it's I'm I'm in the cycle, and oh, Salt Lake City has been taking my attention. Really? So uh, yes. So, um, yeah, I, you know, because for me, it's, you know, because of the things we talk about on the show and, you know, just, yeah, having a very um, rigorous schedule, you know, sometimes you just need to kind of just turn the, the mind off um, and, you know, laugh and just kind of get mixed up in someone else's life. Yeah. And a good reality show is <laughs> one of my favorite Thank ways to escape. <laughs> I was just going to say, lastly, one of your characters seems like she almost stepped off of Real Housewives. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> um, maybe uh, I was thinking Tara's character a little bit, kind of feels. <laughs> oh, Tara Strong. Oh, yeah. right. Yes, yes. I can see that. She is great. She is great. Wonderful. Those mm -hmm. nails, man, those nails. Those outfits. <laughs> Loved her. Loved her. Listen, I think you're both fantastic. I cannot wait to see the reaction to the show. I thought it was amazing and it was such a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you so much, Charles. Thank you so much, Charles.